Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, it is currently raining outside. I told you guys that um, we were, it was like supposed to be like 50 degrees out today. And um, it was. My dad checked the weather um, like when he got home from work and he was like, it was, but like it didn't feel like it. He said that it still felt very, very cold for being like 50 out apparently still. Because it was really cloudy. Like it wasn't like a nice like warm and like the sun shining and you sort of 50. It was like a cold 50. Um, like and it was like rainy sort of most of the day today. Like very, very cloudy. I don't really know that it actually did rain during the day, but it was very cloudy. It's currently raining right now. And um, I told you guys too, we had the problem with our roof and so we have no gutters on the upper part of the one side of our roof and so yeah, it's not it's not a good situation but we can't get them finished and get it taken care of because of all the ice that like built up in the like um what's it called in the gutters and caused them to fall down and all that stuff um and so anywho yeah but that's not good the fact that it's actually raining right now too so um anyway so it's raining and it's supposed to get insanely cold and overnight and freeze or not insanely cold but it's supposed to get cold freeze sleet all this kind of stuff like overnight and things and um it's supposed to I, I jack school is actually canceled for tomorrow it's supposed to be bad in the morning my dad saw and then it's actually supposed to be bad in the afternoon again tomorrow so we might not wind up going grocery shopping tomorrow my haul might have to come on friday which isn't that big of a deal like um again normally we would go on fridays but then we changed it up with um football season this year and going on thursdays instead and it's worked out really well so we've just stuck with that um because it leaves like a friday Friday, like start to the weekend for us to like get things done if we need to or whatever and so you know we don't have to t use that by being having it being taken up by like you know shopping grocery shopping um so like I said that's just why we've stuck with that because it's worked so well but I might not have a haul for you guys tomorrow because again the conditions sound like they're supposed to be really bad I don't know if my dad will be home from work tomorrow but Jack's school is already canceled um and I think it's more just because not necessarily even the snow but because it's raining right now and then it's supposed to get cold so it's supposed to be like sleet freezing rain or just like the current like rain right now is supposed to freeze and um we'll have ice all over the place and so Again, I don't know what it looks like for my dad as far as work tomorrow, but Jack is already home from school. He has an e-learning day. So, um, like I said, that is um, how things are looking right now, but it's crazy because I was actually, guys, I told you to, I was like, I'm going to wear three-quarter sleeve shirt because um, I said it wasn't warm enough to wear short sleeves, but um, I haven't worn this shirt, actually. My mom got it for me, and I've wanted to wear it twice now, and I haven't, like, it was too cold one day when I wanted to wear I think in another day I was just like oh like I guess I'll wear it at like a different point or something I don't know I changed my mind um and so anyways I was like I really want to wear this but I don't want to wear it on a day when it's like freezing cold out um and so honestly like the furnace wasn't running like all that crazy often today and so I felt like it was just like the general warmth from outside was sort of just warm out um it sort of kept the house warm and it wasn't like very cold either just because of that you know because it wasn't really cold outside so, um, like I said, I was like, I'm going to wear like a, a three quarter sleeve shirt today because again, I was actually cleaning the uh, kitchen, which I got to today. So since I was doing that too, I was like, this is actually a really good opportunity because I hate wearing like long sleeve things when I'm trying to clean like the bathroom or the kitchen or something like that. Cause I wind up with my sleeves always soaking wet because again, I'm like trying to clean stuff and I can't roll my sleeves up or they fall down or something like that. So I was like, this is actually a perfect opportunity anyway and so that's what I went with today and I love this shirt it is so so soft and like I said that's why I went to wear it so bad but I think my mom gave it to me like again sometime right before Christmas maybe like in November or something and again it was still just too cold so while it's supposed to be really cold tomorrow I was able to wear it at least once um you know because I've been in like sweatshirts and everything like that too because like even just during the day like around in the house I'm still cold so I was like I need to really find again an opportunity to like wear it when you know it's gets warmer out but I've just been too cold and like I said sweatshirts for like several days and 
in sweaters and stuff like that because it's been cold but today again the house generally didn't feel like cold so that was good but um again it's supposed to get at least somewhat cold tomorrow cold enough that again all of the rain and freezing snow sleets race freezing rain whatever is supposed to come tomorrow so that sort of stinks but again i got to i got up a little late because again i stayed up late to watch the men's ho hockey game last night the u.s men's hockey game um and they lost and then i stayed up tonight late to watch the women's which i already knew i was going to because i knew what time it was at yesterday i didn't actually know um the men's i just turned it on i was like oh i didn't even realize that they was playing they were playing tonight so I stayed up late to watch that because again I think their game yesterday too started like 10 o'clock so it went until um like I think midnight or something like that it's currently all 12 30 or so right now and um I need to take a shower and get to bed because again I'm going to bed late tonight because I stayed up to watch the women's which also ended up losing which stings um I mean they got silver though the men's didn't even you know wind up competing for a medal I was hoping that the women's was going to be the same as the last olympics where i was so that game was so good i keep wanting to say last year but it, was, it wasn't last year it was last olympics um uh like i said four years ago that i stayed up to watch that game and it was just so good i was like the only person that stayed up to watch and because jack didn't have school he stayed up to watch two periods pretty much i think he went to bed by about the third period just because he was tired and he does have to go to school again on friday as long as the um weather conditions hold up <laughs> he won't be going back to school on friday he ended up though staying up to watch some of that tonight um and didn't stay up for the entire thing because they were down and he was like oh, i don't know if they're gonna come back and it got sort of close i guess at the end but anyways yeah like i said it stinks it stinks i stayed up to watch two games stayed up late to watch them and neither of them ended up winning so i'm happy though the women still got silver which is awesome but like you know when you're like projected to be in the gold medal round anyway you know that like the gold is what you're you want so you know silver is what you're probably going to get not that it's not like still a huge achievement to get there but again when you're like the favorite to again make it to the gold medal round and you wind up with silver it's sort of like you know you made it to again, <laughs> super bowl and got second place um you know you didn't win win all of it i'm still happy we you know placed i guess got a medal but again it's it's like that's the thing too is that like if you're competing for the bronze medal and you win like you at least still got it it's like you lost so it doesn't you know what i mean like you didn't really like win anything you made it there but didn't win it like you were guaranteed to get silver at least but you're hoping for the gold so that's why again it stinks when you get into that position but then don't wind up actually getting like what you can the best you can do so anyways though um like i said i got to everything on my planner pretty much for today pretty much finished my grocery list again depends on the weather tomorrow but i'm sort of thinking that like if we're on the fence about like oh are we gonna go are we not gonna go probably just not gonna go um and probably gonna go on friday but i did pretty much finish my grocery list i just have to like finalize everything type it out in the email to myself um and then we can go again tomorrow if we need to but again i'm thinking that we're probably not so i finished that today i also got um editing and uploading i did dishes and laundry and i sort of deep clean the kitchen i guess did my normal cleaning routine in the kitchen um which still like it's I don't know I don't want to say deep cleaning because I feel like when you say like it's deep cleaning it's like I moved the fridge out and cleaned behind the fridge or moved the stove out and cleaned back there or whatever like I don't do that but again it's more than just like you know like most nights I still like go around wipe off the table wipe off the counters you know like wipe off surfaces and things like that but like when I like do my like weekly sort of like cleaning it's like I move everything off the counters I clean behind everything I you know empty the entire sink and clean the entire sink sink down um you know again i take all the grates off of the stove and clean the stove off and inside of the oven and inside of the microwave you know all that kind of stuff normally i'll clean down like all the baseboards and you know sometimes depending like wipe down the walls normally i don't do that every single week just because they're not too crazy dirty every week um it depends too like if there was a major spillage somewhere or again like right now though too the dogs are a hot mess because of how rainy and muddy 
muddy it is outside so they have tracked mud all over the hallway right now and again like I will probably next week next week when I clean the bathroom which is I do the hallway at the same time I'll probably have to clean all of the walls because they've splattered mud up on places where I just cleaned it yesterday like <laughs> I hate that guys so frustrating I'm just happy they haven't made it into the kitchen because I cleaned that today but um yeah like I said I cleaned the hallway yesterday and they have mud everywhere splattered in the hallway so um again sometimes that's when I'm just like I have to still clean this because <laughs> this looks a mess but we actually got their blanket set up down so it's actually not on the ground as much um it's more like I said on sort of the walls from them like running around um and or to what Charlie loves to do is he likes to um jump up and well like especially at my door because if I have my door closed and he really wants to get in he'll jump up on my door to try and figure out if it's open or not and so he gets Yes, again muddy paw prints all over my stinking door like I mean up to like the handles <laughs> he gets mud on there when he comes in from being muddy outside because obviously I'm not letting him right into my room while he is muddy he needs to stay locked up in the hallway area because that's where we contain them when they are a muddy mess so um like I said right now though like you know he would be jumping up on my door trying to get in and um again it's all, like all over my door and stuff like that so like in those cases is when I have to like you know know I have to clean that kind of stuff up but um, I just cleaned the baseboards like I think not this I didn't do it this last time but I think the week before that um like last week when I cleaned so um again anyways though that all got taken care of today too which I was very happy about though we have another snow day tomorrow which again is not even I don't even really know I mean I know it's supposed to be cold and obviously enough to snow but I'm really like wondering what it's going to look like because again it's like warm outside it's it's raining I can hear the patter of the rain outside and then it's going to turn into like sleet snow sort of stuff like I want to know what it's going to look like tomorrow so I'll share that with you guys too what tomorrow winds up looking like as far as you know again the snow and weather and you know all that kind of stuff outside but yeah that's weird like I don't know Jack's having like two snow days within pretty much I think he had the first one in February also like the beginning or whatever and it wasn't last week I think it was two weeks ago that he had the snow day or no maybe it was was it last week? I don't think so. Um, no, yeah. Was it on Wednesday of last week too? I think it was. Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. Anyways, yeah, like, you know, within probably two weeks or so of each other he has another snow day um so I can't remember when that day was. I want to say it was on Wednesday but I can't figure it out. I think it was two weeks ago. I don't think it was last week. Anyways, guys, so yeah, I need to take a shower and get to bed, though. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye, guys.